But no, you got a problem with me. Go ahead and have your problems. Do what you got to do because it's ridiculous how a person can twist something and turn it into a totally different narrative than what it is. That's somebody who has issues. That's somebody sick. Sick. I said what I said and I meant what I said. To take something that's so innocent, so beautiful, to turn it around to be something nasty, derogatory. That's your problem. It's, don't try to make it my problem. Good night and blue chains. And that is on Mary and all of her little land. the incidents tattoo so he just drew it out now we're gonna see how it looks my nerves are bad so mike how can people get in touch with you if they want to see your work facebook instagram so you guys you can look that up Space. I like the negative space on darker skin, a little negative space, and it's we could build on it if I want to build on it later. And so it's not way up on my neck like I originally thought, but you know, somebody always has something to say. I mean, it's just amazing the things that people want to control and control my narrative, control other people's narratives. I guess they did a little bit on this one. You know, I have other goals and stuff. So I went down a little lower. Because I really wanted it on the neck. So I went down a little lower. And that's my business. And I know some of you won't agree, but it is what it is. This is what I want. You got to go some crazy anyway. Period. So would you expect anything less? Y'all, I'm telling you. I do not feel nothing, nothing. So it was like my little secret, honey. I ain't feel nothing. And when I say no pain, no pain, it was like having an epidural child. Zero. I'm telling y'all, y'all better get you one of these. This that chicken salad right here. That's that chicken salad. And bam. The finished product, baby. Talking about a painless tattoo. Beautiful. It's like wearing a necklace all the time, honey. Yes. You better get time. you one of these. She cute. She cute. She cute. It's just like jewelry. But let me tell you, honey, that little numbing cream, you better get you some. That's that chicken salad. You better get you some. I was sitting there, I was like, ooh, this is, I felt kind of guilty because it's like when you get a tattoo, it's like you need to go through the rite of passage and know how that pain feels. I was like, ooh, I feel bad, 
but I was like, honey, I didn't feel anything when he started. So let's just say the tattoo was two and a half hours. This was two and a half hours. And I like that it's a lot of negative space. So it just doesn't look like a big blob. That's what I, I like. Because sometimes on certain skin, if you get the black and from a distance, something will look like a blob. But this also looks like henna. It also looks like henna. And you know, I could go up more if I want to. So there are certain, you know, directions. So I'm not sure what I want to do. But anyway, I love, I love her. She's cute. She's cute. She's cute and she's still classy. Does that make sense? She's still classy. I'm telling y'all. You better get you some, some relief. It's relief. R-E-L-I-E-V -E from Mad Rabbit. M-A-D-R-A-B-B-I-T, a rabbit, a mad rabbit. Baby, you get this stuff and put this on your, your um tattoo area before you go. Let me tell you, put it on about an hour and a half before you go. Let me tell you, this is the real deal. And I will say it lasts about two, a little over two hours. Now you going in for a three or four, five hour session, <laughs> at least half the session, you good. But baby, it worked. I felt guilty. I felt guilty because it was like my little secret while I was getting it done. But I was like, <coughs> ow, everything's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be all right. And I didn't feel nothing. Now going into the two and a half, two and a 40 minute mark, I started to feel a little something, something. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Let me tell you, you better go get you, go get you some of this. And this is not sponsored, by the way. But baby, believe it when I tell you. <laughs> this is the most painless tattoo I've ever had. Okay, you hear me? Let me tell you. If I'm lying, I'm flying, and y'all know I can't fly, honey. Oh yes. Mm hmm. Get you some of this. Go to MadRabbit.com. Go to Mad Rabbit, or Mad Rabbit Tattoo Care. Mm -hmm. Try MadRabbit.coms, okay? You go there and you get you some of this relief. Let me tell you, honey, it worked, okay? I'm being nosy peeking out the window. See what I see? See what I see out the window. So I went to the store to get me some antibacterial soap, right? And the cashier was like, is that real? Well, it ain't fake. <laughs> Ain't it ain't. So I was like, no, it looks like henna, right? I said, no, I just got it done. I just got it done. She was like, wow, wow. Like, did it hurt? I was like, girl, no, let me tell you the tea. Let me give you the tea, girl. It was painless. And she was like, what? What? And I was like, and I had to run it down for her. Painless, okay? Next time, go order you some Mad Rabbit. And they have a whole set where you can order the aftercare set the before is what you put on before so you know before you go to your appointment and then they have aftercare stuff i ain't get that you know the little uh antibacterial soap and the aquaphor works fine just for me and he said this will heal up in about two three days because a whole bunch of dots so it looks like i just always have on a necklace but i'm always done i'm always done purr, purr. I'm always done. I'm glammed. I'm glammed. <laughs> Y'all see the head? Eh, eh. Y'all see? Y'all see? Y'all see my head? Yes. <laughs> I'm always done. Yes. Yes, sis. So once again, Mad Rabbit, relieve, honey. Let me tell you. <sighs> Felt great. I ain't feel nothing. And I put it on, put it on. Y'all saw how I put it on and just do it like that. Do it like that. Like that. Do it like that, like that. Do it like that for the next tag. 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 Mm hmm. I do have my next appointment set up. Cause you know, like when you get in with a good artist, before you walk out the door, if you know you done, you done. You just, you just done. But you book your appointment for the next one. I was like, uh-uh, miss, I gotta wait for another paycheck. Because you know what? I know I'm digressing a little bit. You know, you do so much, you do so much. You paying this, you paying that. You do so much for your kids. You do so much, you paying this bill. Da, 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 da. And it starts to add up. When, when you turn around, you haven't done anything. Well, I, I'm just talking for me. I haven't done anything for myself. So I was like, you know, and it, you know, and it, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, y'all. And so I was like, you know, 
I'm just gonna do something for myself because I turn around, my whole paycheck gone, but I done paid everybody, done everything for everybody, and then what I turned around have nothing. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna pay myself first, and I'll <laughs> cry about it later. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, okay. I'm gonna put my hair back there. And I suppose he said wash it when I got back to the hotel, but I was like, mm, I got things to do, so I'm about to eat. Cause I haven't eaten yet and it's uh almost 3 34 o'clock see I'll, it's time to break that fast <laughs> but you know I had to go get that little tag so I kind of wish it was up on the neck a little he said we could go up or I could go out onto my shoulders okay would that be cute mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I have to go back to wear my tube tops mm -hmm. that used to be part of my uniform I used to wear them all the time child a tube top tube top I was the tube top queen okay you can't tell me nothing I wore my tube top I wore my tube tops when I was pregnant with all of my kids okay even though I was carrying big but that's all right <laughs> y'all mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh and another thing if you could look at this one they look like little children I was like, bro, these look like little kids right here. Bro. <laughs> he said, well, if they say something that's cool, say you did it for the kids. You did it for the kids. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. This one look a little darker than that one. That's all right. He'll hook it up. He'll hook it up next time I'll go back. And then I have little moles on my neck, so I have three dots here. Three dots here. <laughs> okay, okay, three dots here, three dots, and then that one, my mole. Okay, she cute. All right, oh, well, not that most. I like this mole. She cute. I like that mole best. Maybe I have him do that darker next time. But just tap it. Oh, that's my mole. Maybe I will shoot. Why be basic when you could be extra? Shoot. All right, let me hook up something to eat real quick. And I'm going back out, going back out. You better get this for your next tag. Better get the leave before the next tag. Get your mad rabbit before you get hat. Get your mad rabbit before you get mad. Don't get mad. Get the mad rabbit. Get the mad rabbit for your next tag. Get the mad rabbit for your next tap you won't feel a thing and that's how i like to say hey 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 you know somebody had the audacity to say somebody had the audacity to say that i'll be twerking people i don't know how to twerk and if i twerk is with my back or it's to be funny come on people Somebody always got something to say. Somebody always wants to control my narrative. Control your narrative with your miserable butt wanting to control everybody and want everybody to do things that you want them to do. And if they're not doing things you want them to do, then you mad. Make it make sense. Control your narrative and what's going on in your backyard, okay? Tell her I be twerking. No, I do not. I don't know how to twerk, okay? That's one thing. I don't know how to twerk. I just don't. I, and if I do something like that in the classes, it'll be funny. It's like, people, oh, people are just miserable. I just a miserable people. Ooh. Ooh. Y'all. Y'all gotta give me some ideas. Something else I can do besides teach <laughs> Besides being crazy. It's like, I don't know what else I'm gonna do. But let me get out of this country. That's what I need to do. Get up out of here. Head on over to Africa. Okay, head over to Africa. Somebody even had something to say about my Black History Month shirt. Tell my there is no Black History. It's just history. Ma'am, we celebrate Black History Month. A lot of schools do it. Tell, tell my I'm showing my breasts. Why? Because so now you say because I'm showing my tat. I'm showing my breasts. Have several seats. Good night, blue cheese. What's wrong with people? What's wrong? And when I'm at school, I make sure I have a shirt underneath my stuff. Make sure I'm not bending over. Okay? I don't got nickels. I got dollars up in here, baby. I got dollars. Okay? I got the dollars. I don't have no nickels or dimes or quarters. These are dollar size. It is what it is. But best believe, I see other people in the workplace. 
in the educational workplace have the cleavage out, have the fitted outfits on. I'm like, now that is inappropriate. Now me wearing a Black History t-shirt, it sounds like you got some problems with me supporting my t-shirts for Black History. We wear stuff for Cinco de Mayo as well. You want to say something about that too? We wear stuff for Juneteenth as well. You want to say something about that too? We wear Christmas stuff, Halloween stuff. We wear it all. But Black History Month is Black History Month. You can go on a tick in the top. You can go on an Instacart. You can go on a YouTube. You're going to see hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of teachers celebrating all of these holidays, all of these things. But no, you got a problem with me. Go ahead and have your problems. Do what you got to do because it's ridiculous how a person can twist something and turn it into a totally different narrative than what it is. That's somebody who has issues. That's somebody sick. Sick. I said what I said and I meant what I said. To take something that's so innocent, so beautiful, to turn it around to be something nasty derogatory. That's your problem. It's, don't try to make it my problem. Good night and blue jeans. And that is on Mary and all of her little land. Okay. All right, y'all. Anyway, as I digress, y'all better go get you some of these. Okay. All right, y'all. See you later. My blood pressure up. Let me eat something. Okay. Let me eat something. Make my ankles swell. <laughs> <laughs>